What's up chicken people? Uh, today I'm building a portable chicken tractor and uh, two things I should mention before I get going on the project. Uh, number one is that this is a derivative design. Totally not an original. Uh, you can find this design elsewhere online if you look for it on Pinterest or Insta page or FaceTube or whatever. Uh, so, so that's the uh, first point. Uh, the second is that I'm building it in my driveway. It's just gonna be way easier to build this thing on a flat hard surface around all my tools and stuff. So I'm gonna build it in my driveway and then I'm gonna haul it back, back to the back of our property where the chickens are. Alright, so that's it for the frame. You might see other frames that have uh, cross members to avoid, you know, racking of the structure. And I just don't imagine that I'm going to subject this guy to any lateral forces. Sure, if you were going to be, you know, pulling it from one end, say, just pulling it from one end, it might get kind of, you know, out of line and out of whack and stuff. But I'm going to be pulling it evenly from both ends. This isn't a door or a gate that's going to be hanging up or anything, anything like that. Anyway, yeah, so I got the cross braces in. This is at my length measurement, and I just need to put up the hug wire. All right, we got the first two half panels secured with nails on both sides. But these guys, you know, when you cut them, they've got the sharp end sticking out. So over here, I'm gonna do holes and slot those babies in place. I'm sliding these in, but can you come over here and kind of hold them down? Because yeah. I'm sort of like, it's sort of like a progression and I don't want to pop up. So just kind of hold this. All right, now this is just a small detail, but you know, the ends on this side just a couple of these half panels are just slotted in, so they're not really attached in a downward way. They're all wired together, but they're not attached. So I'm just gonna drill a few holes here and lash these guys the frame just so they can't pop out. I don't think they will, they're pretty solid, but it'll just keep them in place.
All right, so now I get the thing built, more or less, and I'm just gonna drive around to the back of the property, and then, you know, final touches, tune it up before the birds go in there. Chicken tractor delivery service. All right, I just gotta pull the dude off the trailer and I think we're gonna situate it over here in this general area. So it's a good place to set it up. Now Melissa has referred to this as the gulag, which I think is a little bit of a exaggeration or an overstatement, but you know, it's all chicken wired up, sealed up, chicken wire is nice and tight. Now I'm just gonna put a door on either end so you can get in one side or the other. Uh, next up, putting a couple tarps on there. Now, I gotta say, these guys were seven bucks a piece. You don't need a camo tarp. I just got the camo because it was on sale. So, 14 bucks for the tarps. I think the uh, the cattle panels, the hog wire, I think that was like 25 bucks. Chicken wire I had left over, but you can spend some money on that. So, we're like around 30 bucks. We could be at 40, 50 bucks right now, somewhere in there. These are eight by 10. So, you know, my cattle panels were 16 feet. I cut those in half. So they're like an eight foot arch, semi circumference, whatever you want to call it. So these guys are eight feet. So, you know, you get an eight by 10 tarp and it should fit on there pretty well. All right, so it might look a little bit like a mash unit, but this baby's pretty much dialed in. I do have a latch down here made of hardwood, it's like oak, just to kind of seal this guy shut. And it just needs uh, three things. Uh, chickens, go get those right now. Uh, water or two, and some feeders. All right, before we move the chicks into the chicken tractor, you gotta check out the shop tractor. This is the second place they've been. Uh, they started out on a little table, then they got too big for that, and then I would put them in this tractor, which we got from a friend. We've used this a million times now. And now we're gonna box them up and move them outside.
Yeah. Is this in there? Baby, when do I get to come out of the chicken truck? <laughs> Tonight, maybe? For dinner? Come on, guy. All right, so uh, still just a couple additions. Uh, number one, I gotta add the heat lamp down at the other end. At night, it's still getting down like mid to high 60s, and that's just a little bit chilly for these guys. So heat lamp down at the end, uh, another feeder, another waterer. We got a lot of birds in here. And uh, also on the list, a second chicken tractor. So right now it's okay, but square footage wise, we definitely are gonna need a second or third tractor. Uh, it's a nice kind of modular design, so I'll have like two or three next to each other and can just move them around in rotation. Okay, thanks for checking out the video. I've got some other chicken related things on this playlist. You can see down below there's a playlist this video is part of. And uh, I will see you in the next project.